I'm Todd Lewis from Fiasco Sports, reporting for the SA Football Magazine. Today I'm joined by Greg Buss from the Foss Camden Football Club in Division 2, and he's going to do our weekly roundup. So we'll just go through the results from the weekend. Yep. Modbury had a 15-point victory over Broadview. Gazer had a 29-point victory over Old Nations. Sacred Heart Old Collegians had a close win over Scotch by 10 points. And St. Peter's Old Collegians had a big 14-goal win over Smosh Westlakes. And Foss Camden had a great win over Portland by 66 points. Obviously an outstanding result. Yeah, it was. Uh, Portland got away to a two-goal break early in the first quarter. And uh, after that, we probably had their measure. Uh, our run-on play, I think, got on top of them eventually. And uh, we kicked away by half-time. We're a good few goals up and went on with it. It was a good result for us. We really needed the win. Uh, we've lost several games by under 10 points this year, and it's really hurt. So it was good to put a side away. Was there any concern early in the game when they did kick those first two goals? Did you think, oh no, this could be a day where we're just not on? Yeah, well it's a game we probably ticked as a win, uh, but you can't take those games without respecting the opposition. Yeah. They came out to play football and uh, gave it a really good crack and it was a good standard game. Yeah, yeah. So we were a bit concerned early, but uh, managed to, uh, once, once, once we got our game going, uh, it worked quite well. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that game. What has been the key to the good performance on the weekend and obviously what do you still need to work on to make sure you don't have those close losses in the back half of the season? Uh, well we've lost uh, quite a few players, we've got two or three long term injuries and uh, several players away at present for a month so it's uh, meant that our reserves have had to step up and I think that was the highlight. We had Waters and Walters who both came into the side and uh, filled the gap really well and they got into our best players so that was part of it. Uh, Nick Ramsey had probably the best on ground performance and kicked uh, I think four goals. And Aaron Bergsman, who is uh, extremely reliable, pegged in with five. So that really helped. And the consistency for the day was, was really good. OK, we'll just look forward to next week's games, if I can just get a tip for, from you on each game. St Peter's Old Collegians take on Scotch Old Collegians. Who do you think will win that one? Obviously, Scotch had a close loss yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, well, Scotch are a pretty physical side, so uh, I think they'll probably uh, try to rough them up a little bit, uh, football-wise. But, uh, yeah, I think Iggy's are in good form, and their consistency's been really good. I tip Iggy's. Iggy. No, that was actually St Peter's old collegiate, sorry. sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, sorry. Well, St Peter's, uh, yeah, look, they've been going OK as well, but I still think Iggy's would go OK. Yeah. OK. Well, it's Scotch versus St Peter's, try one more time, so... Oh, right, OK. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, well, Scotch are going OK as well. Yeah. Uh, and I think they've got probably the measure of St Peter's. So. Okay. Got it. Uh, old Ignatian stake on Broadview. So you obviously think, think Iggy's are a pretty decent yeah. side. <laughs> yeah, they, they are. Uh, Broadview's a coach by uh, our old coach, Wayne Wiedemann. Yep. And I was talking to him during the week. And uh, unfortunately, they lost yesterday. But I think they'll have the measure of them. Mm. Okay. Uh, Modbury take on Smosh Westlakes. Smosh Westlakes have been struggling a little bit. Yeah, yeah Modbury are a good side and uh, they're probably going to be the measure in this competition this year and I think they'll have the measure of, of uh, Smosh. And Portland take on Gazer at Portland Reserve? Yeah, once again, I think Gazer have probably got, uh, got the wood on them as well. Uh, so Portland are struggling, I think, and they've lost a lot of players. So, uh, yeah, I would think that they would go OK. And Sacred Heart Old Collegians take on Foss Camp. You'd obviously be hoping to get the win. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a grudge match because a lot of our players are, uh, know the Sacred Heart guys. Um, evidently, they're playing very, very well. If we can play at our capacity, then we've got a good chance. So, yeah, we've got a, a show to beat them. Yeah. What do you think is the key to playing at your capacity to beat them? Uh, we've got to stay, stop making unforced errors. Uh, that's been hurting us this year, turning the ball over. Like I said, we've only been getting beaten by a few points in a number of games, so if we can uh, win those close ones, and this could be a close one, uh, I think that will help us. Okay, thank you, Greg. I'm Todd Lewis from Fiasco Sports, reporting for the SA Football Magazine. I've been joined by Greg Buss from the Foss Camden Football Club in Division 2, and he's done our weekly roundup.